Hello humans, today we're talking about crochet interest group, the chemistry olympiad, and major six. All this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com with your story ideas and we'll be sure to feature it on our next broadcast. Be sure to send it to this email and not Mr. Latart for the best chances of seeing your email. See you later, Novi. Hey Novi, this is Luke back again to give you some news about next week's German club meeting. The meeting will be on Wednesday next week in room 245, where they'll be discussing the Grimm Brothers' dark fairy tales, as well as officer applications and elections. Hope to see you there, and as always, this is Luke, signing off. Hey Novi, on Thursday, April 25th, the Crochet Interest Group will be holding their next meeting in room 159 from 3 to 4 p.m. right after school. They'll be making simple flowers, so bring medium yarn and a 4.5 millimeter hook. Scan the QR code to take the survey if you plan on attending. The Chinese Korean Club is meeting on Thursday, April 25th in room 247 after school. They will be learning about the Three Kingdoms period. Snacks and games will be provided, and details regarding officer applications for next year will also be announced. Be sure to attend. Hey Novi, your Aerospace and Space Travel Club is having a meeting in room 106 at 3 p.m. after school today. They are doing a combustion demo where you hold your hand in the fire safely. If you have long hair, please bring a hair tie. Hope to see you there, Novi. Hey Wildcats, the Dear Asian Youth Novi group has just opened their officer applications for the 2024 to 2025 school year. Their open positions are Treasurer, Outreach Director, Social Media Director, and Creative Team Member. Applications are due Friday, May 3rd. Scan the QR code on screen right now to apply. What's up, Novi? Novi Astronomy will be having their next meeting on Wednesday, April 24th in room 247. <laughs> They'll be making bottle rockets and giving updates on the night sky. See you there. Hey, Novi. Major Six is having a spring concert on April 30th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. It's absolutely free, so make sure to go support our Novi Choir. Hey Novi, this is Luke, back again to tell you about how our Chemistry Olympiad students are doing. Two students qualified as Detroit area nominees in the first round of the U.S. National Chemistry Olympiad, scoring near the top of over 100 students that participated. They both competed again in the second round yesterday in a five-hour exam at University of Michigan-Dearborn. These two amazing students are Arjun Janakiram and Wenhan Zhu. Sorry if I butchered those names. Wish them the best of luck as they continue to try to advance through this event. And as always, this is Luke, signing off. Hello, people of Novi. My name is Neil. Excuse me, just a second. Much better. Let's try that again, shall we? Hello, people of Novi. My name is Neil, and I'm here to ask you a question. Do you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is the opening night for this year's musical, Singing in the Rain. You remember the poster. Shout out to Alexandra Malin. We have an insanely talented company made up of singing, dancing, and acting cast, adult directors, student directors, production team, production team crews, and of course, the amazing pit. Not to toot our own horn, but toot toot. I apologize for doing that. That was weird. Anyway, tomorrow night is the opening night for our show. The show the show on April 25th will begin at 5 p.m. in the auditorium. The shows on Friday, April 26th and Saturday, April 27th will begin at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. The musical is like a major Novi Creative Arts Collaborative collab, so make sure you come see the amazing spectacle with real rain singing in the rain. Go to novihs.seatyourself.biz to purchase tickets. You can also scan the QR code on these posters seen all throughout the school. Come see the show. 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 Again, I apologize for doing that, but please come see the show. Following are some bloopers to get you interested. Enjoy.
Next up, we got Skittles. They're also amazing. The sour ones may be even better. They gotta go S. Yeah, Skittles are solid. They're basically just the fruity version of M&M's. So, S. So, I completely understand that I'm in the minority when I say this, but I'm personally not a fan of Skittles. And it's just because I can't eat them. I think they're really tasty for like the first five. For me, they're a B. Yeah, I feel about candy. I love myself some candy. You can't go wrong with Skittles. Next, we have another classic chocolate bar, Snickers. And these are better than Milky Ways. They're pretty good. I'll give them an A. The Snickers ice cream bar is are amazing. They're so good. Just because of the Snickers ice cream bars, I'm giving this one an S. Somebody please keep count, because Ben is wrong again. Snickers are an absolute classic, but they are absolutely not better than Milky Way. I, I will not take that. For me, they're like the mid-ground of like what a candy bar should be. Hey. Next up, we have Sour Patch Kids. They definitely have to go S. These are great. I love these very much. All the different flankers and variants they have, they're great. I love Sour Patch very much. They are definitely going an S for me. I love them a lot. S. Next up, we have Starburst. I've always liked Starburst. But they've kind of not hit as much as they did before. I'm gonna still give them an A. Yeah, as a kid, Starburst were a rare treat, a rare find in the modern day of Matthew Klaus. As I've grown up, these have become the most mid candy. So for these, I'll give them a B. Tear into a Starburst and you get like one of those red ones and one of those pink ones. That's like perfection right there. That is peak dopamine in the brain. S. Next up, we got Sweetest Fish. I just love Sweetest Fish. They're gonna go an S. You're definitely getting sick if you eat more than like five of these. So for that reason alone, I'll give them an A. I fossil one once, so for that, I'm gonna give it an A. That's an B and S tier, like, there's no debate against it. Next up, we also have an amazing chocolate bar, Twix. I'm gonna give Twix an S. This is my favorite candy. This is beyond S tier. I'd say they're definitely in my top five S. Next up, we have a pretty controversial one, Twizzlers, and so many people hate on Twizzlers. I'm gonna give them an A. For me, when I eat a Twizzler, it feels like I'm just chewing on a tire and eating rubber. I would have to give these a C. They're, they're terrible. F. Next up, we got Whoppers. No one really eats Whoppers anymore. Even if I ever do, I just can't ever finish them because they're that bad. They're horrible. Sorry, Moose, but F. What is wrong with you? I actually agree with Ben, and I'm sorry, Moose, are but my parents like Whoppers, and my parents are old. These are officially an old person candy. Every time I try and bite into one, I feel like I'm going to die. These are getting an F tier for me. Hear me out. Whoppers are great. You get one of those little three-pack ones, that's just three bites of awesomeness. Like, they are not that bad. This is an easy ass. They're consistently excellent. What? No, seriously, man, they're that good. And lastly, we have one that's just for me. These are the infamous Krabby Patty sliders. When you walk into a Walmart and you see these and you're with your mom, it's a no-brainer. You buy the entire stock. These are insane. These are beyond Twix. They should not exist. They're so good. These are getting whatever is beyond S, beyond tier. Aren't Krabby Patty sliders just like gummy burgers? But it's SpongeBob. Well, that concludes our candy tier list. We would appreciate feedback and let us know what tier list you want next. See you later, Nova. Hello, humans. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. We'll be back with more news stories tomorrow. Goodbye.